The Denver Broncos have 53 players on their active roster, but in reality, they only have 52 because Greg Dulcich is just sitting back and collecting a paycheck at this point. He has been on the inactive list for the Broncos for the last several weeks, and I don't understand why the Broncos haven't offloaded those assets from the roster in order to use that spot on somebody who could be a more down-to-down contributor. Greg Dulcich, at this point, is not going to develop into the player that the Broncos hoped that he would develop into when they drafted him out of UCLA in 2022. The injuries have held him back, but also his deficiencies as a player have held him back. He's not big enough to play as an inline tight end. He can't block, and his explosiveness and burst has honestly kind of been zapped ever since the injuries, and to this point, the Broncos just need to cut their losses because... Greg Dulcich is sitting there taking up a spot on this roster, and he's not contributing anything. The Broncos finally did see somebody contribute in the tight end room yesterday. Actually, a few guys contributed because Lucas Kroll, he had two catches for 18 yards. Nate Atkins caught a touchdown, and then obviously Adam Troutman, he really stepped up. Four catches, 85 yards, and a touchdown. That was something the Broncos desperately needed was somebody to step up in that tight end room. I still think the Broncos should be in business to maybe trade for a guy like David Njoku, but at this point in time, I don't understand why Greg Dulcich is still here. He's not going to get back on the field anytime soon, especially now that these guys have stepped up in his place, and to this point, he's not contributing on special teams either. What is the point of still having him on this roster? I legit don't know. As far as potentially trading him, I don't think the Broncos would get anything of significant value. I don't even think teams would be willing to offer a future draft pick because they know that Greg Dulcich is probably dead man walking here in Denver. And if the Broncos just cut him, another team could go out there and pluck him for free instead of having to get up draft capital. I just don't think that it would make sense for another team to go out and trade for a player who's literally rotting on the inactive list on the Denver Broncos. So at this point, The Broncos need to do Greg Dulcich a favor and cut him and allow him to go seek another opportunity elsewhere because he's clearly not going to get that opportunity here in Denver. I'm curious, Broncos country, do you think that the team needs to move on from Greg Dulcich after he's just been sitting on the inactive list for the last several weeks? Drop those comments down below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys guys. Those are both free and easy ways to show your support, helps tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out, and it helps us get seen by more and more members of Broncos country just like you and me. And until next time, guys, I'm your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.